Hello again, and welcome to the latest bulletin from Haverhill UK News, brought to you by Haverhill TV. In the news for today, Friday June the 7th, a plan to give opportunities to Haverhill's young people and to improve the town's streets and pavements has been launched by One Haverhill. Haverhill's new office in the town was opened today by our MP Matthew Hancock, and how Castle Manor welcomed back a past pupil recently, one who is now head teacher of a grammar school himself. The first fruits of the idea of bringing together all Haverhill's service and facility providers in one forum were seen yesterday at the launch of two major projects. One Haverhill unveiled plans for a unique youth project for the town which has been made possible by the collaboration between local authorities, businesses, education and other partners. The Haverhill community budget one of 12 pilot projects set up by the government, set out to achieve change for the town initially in two areas, better opportunities for our young people and improving the physical environment in the town, all priorities decided on by extensive community engagement with local residents last summer. Looking at ways to use resources already allocated to the town in a way that local people want them to be used is at the heart of the community budget plan. After research into what finances are allocated to Haverhill, one Haverhill, which does not hold a budget for the town, has pooled these resources, what they call virtually, and worked with organisations, including local authorities, to prepare a community budget plan. Last year, it identified 66 different services delivered in Haverhill in the two priority areas, youth opportunities and a physical environment. It also identified that of around £48 million spent in Haverhill by the three councils, that's county, borough and town, each year, 8% or £3.8 million was spent in these areas. It then worked on refocusing some of this to get the best results. And this reallocation of resources was then approved by the organisations which hold the funding. Haverhill's MP Matthew Hancock today opened Haverhill's new offices in the High Street. The offices, which have flats above and behind, are in the redevelopment of the former Bows and Bows carpet shop destroyed by fire. Haverbury do a huge amount of work to make sure that everybody in Haverhill has a home um, and that people have affordable homes. Uh, they work very closely with the council, the town council, the district council and the county council um, and with me and um, today we've been able to, um, to celebrate their new shop front here right here on the high street. Police are appealing for witnesses after a van's lock was damaged in Haverhill. The incident occurred between 5pm and 7.50pm on Monday in Meadowsweet Close, where the driver's door lock of a white Vauxhall combo van had its plastic covering tampered with. Anyone with information is asked to contact PC Rupert Bainan at Haverhill Police Station on 101 or Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 555 111. And finally, Castle Manor welcomed back a past pupil recently who is no stranger to schools in his chosen career. He's now head teacher of a grammar school in Cheltenham. Russell Ellicott, whose parents still live in Haverhill, is head of the Pates Grammar School, founded in 1586 by a 13th generation ancestor of long-serving Castle Manor teacher Martin Pates, who taught Russell. During his visit, he was able to see all the changes at the new school, at the school site, now an academy, and to chat over old times with Mr Pates and another former teacher at the school, John Grinham. He said the new academy was a very impressive place. It had a lovely feel and the whole academy should rightly be proud of the community they had built, he said. And that's all for today, but join us again on Tuesday. And meanwhile, keep in touch by going to www.haverhilluk.co.uk or following us on Twitter. And don't forget my weekly Heart of the Matter video blog tomorrow. And the weather's still good. Is it going to keep up for the weekend?